So right now I'm coaching high schoolers and it's been making me think a lot about when I was in high school and just like where I was at in life and what I valued at the time. Um, and when I got into high school, I really started getting into like the party scene. Um, I was a freshman hanging out with a bunch of seniors and juniors because I was on varsity. So they would take me out to, to parties like every weekend. And that was super new to me. Cause I was coming from eighth grade, never have even driven with a friend in the car without a parent. And then now I'm speeding, blasting music on my way to parties. So that was just like, at the time I was like, dang, this is the coolest thing ever. Uh, so as the years went on, it became more and more uh, part of my life. And, and when I moved high schools, it, was, it became even more of a part of my life because I wanted to fit in so bad. So I was like making sure I was going to these parties and doing all these things. And, and I was kind of a lone ranger, but I, so I, I started experimenting with my own drugs. Um, just trying to feel something, trying to feel as good as possible. I was really, really into it. I was doing research on different things and I tried a bunch of different stuff. And and just coaching these high school students, I see the temptation. I see the temptation of, of being accepted and being in the party scene and having fun and thinking that that stuff is gonna bring pleasure, that that stuff is gonna bring happiness. And from my own experience, it at the time, it feels like it does. It really feels like it does. But now that I'm living my life for God, that stuff does not even come close to the joy and peace that, that Jesus brings. Like, this kind of peace, this kind of joy, this kind of love is beyond comprehension. And it's not easy not easy it's not the same quick fix or quick euphoria that you receive like from drugs or from partying you get it right away in those things but this is a relationship and it takes work it takes work and it takes sacrifice but it's way more fulfilling and it's way more stable So I ask that you all pray for me that I can help other people to just understand that and to, to see that, to see the foolishness in parting, the foolishness in, in taking the broad road. The Bible says that the broad road leads to destruction, but the narrow road leads to life. Please pray for me. I can help people to see this truth. Have a good day in Jesus' name.